Hey, so there is this idea in programming called short circuiting, and it means that I don't need to continue executing the program or the steps I wrote. I know what I need to do now based on the, like maybe the first couple of steps. So I'm gonna just short circuit and go to the next point or next uh, step in my application and continue from there. And I wanna show you how we can integrate this kind of concept. I think it's also something in like electricity, I'm not sure, but uh, I, I will show you how we can integrate this concept in promises in JavaScript or using TypeScript. So the idea here uh, that we have a bunch of promises running and as, and we have a timeout limit, let's say 200 milliseconds. And if the execution of these promises or one promise went beyond 200 milliseconds, we, will sh we should short circuit and just fall back to something that uh, we, want to, we want to do in that case. Or in case of any error, in any of these promises we are running, we should also short circuit and go to something that we want to do in that case. So we have two, C two points here. Point one, any promise we run, we should not, should not execute for longer than 200 milliseconds. And point two, and in that case, we will uh, fall back to a value, specific, like a specific default value. Let's say a prom that promise will resolve something from a, an API. And the second point is, um, if that promise is thrown an error, we should also short circuit the whole execution, no matter how many promises we are having, and just fall back to a default value. And I have a playlist on YouTube. I will show you that in a bit. Um, wait a second. I can't see. It's about HTTP orchest orchestration techniques. Uh, it's this one. I'll put link in the description for it and also a link to the code because I'm discussing so many techniques where you can send HTTP requests and orchestrate them in a way you handle retries, failures, uh, concurrency control and sending them with priority when you retry sending the requests. So I think that's very uh, important subject and I'm continuing this with this short circuiting thing. So to start, I won't bore you by writing the code line by line. I'm just going to copy paste and explain. I will be using Axios and I'm going to pitch a to-do from the JSON placeholder API. Um, it's really nice. I'll show you in a second. So that's the thing I'm pitching. Yeah, this is it. It's a, a free API. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description for it too. But yeah, I'm going to pitch this thing and I'm gonna define a default timeout will be 200 milliseconds and the default value for the to-do I'm pitching this of course it's not super realistic but you can map it to your use case and the function that retains the data it will be called or pitches the data um, pitch data and it's just gonna retain the return the return response from Axios by pitching this thing and I'm gonna also define another function called timeout. And this will be a cyclonus function that's, that just rejects with the default to do after 200 milliseconds exactly. So it's a cyclonus function and I'm awaiting another promise that will resolve after 200 milliseconds, which is the default timeout. And then after that, I'm just gonna return a rejected response but with the default to do I have. And now there is an, a static method in the promise class or promise constructor function, whatever. It's called uh, arrays. So you give it an array of promises and the first one to settle, settle means either reject or resolve. The first one that gets settled, that's the return value from invoking this function. So that's, the, that's how I'm gonna implement the short circuit uh, thing. So I'm going to define a function called main now. And at the end of my script, I'm just going to call main and just console log the result. And inside of main, I'm going to define an array of promises. Promises. And I'm going to call fetch data and the timeout promise. I have Oops. like this. 
across final data equal promise to trace. I'm gonna give it a day of promises. Now on then I'm gonna just um, get the response. Response to data. So if you hover over this, uh, TypeScript is smart enough to know that this will only be a response from Axios, which is this function, even though the array starts from, like this array contains two promises. One of them will always reject. That's why I think it's promise never, but I'm not completely sure, but this one will always reject. Uh, and I guess TypeScript is smart enough to understand that in this case, this will always be the Axios response. Uh, but in case of the catch, what I need to do is just create a function that returns the default timeout. And I mean, either way, this will be that, and I believe this is the default timeout. But we can also do this. Uh, but of course, no, wait, my bad. So the cache, the thing that gonna gonna be passed here, it could be either um, the thing, if, if this function is failed, this could be also the thing that failed, the error that got thrown in that function. So in case of any catch, or in case of any error, sorry, we just return this default time, uh, uh, this default to do thing. That's what's, that's what we are gonna do. Um, yeah. I will go through it again, just in case I missed it out, but yeah, that's, that's the idea for now. At the end, I'm just gonna return the final, uh, final data. And now if I run this, it should behave normally and we get this response because I don't believe this will fail or uh, time out or spend more than 200 milliseconds. NPM run there. Okay, we get this, which is true. This is the response from here. But now what I can do is just go here and randomly throw a new error. And now in this case, we should fall back to this default to do. So let's run it again, which is true. And now if I clear this and let me go here and make this response or simulate a delay by 201 milliseconds. Now let's run it again. We should also see the default to do coming back, which is this one, we defined. That's nice. And the nice thing here, uh, you can pass as much as you want promises here. I can keep doing this. And it will still work because this function will resolve or set it, sorry, it will set it before all of other promises. And in that case, we will immediately short circuit because that's what promise to trace do. So it's really simple idea and it's really simple also to write. I think it could be useful in so many cases, especially if you integrate this with some sort of a queue or anything. I will link my videos in the description and um, just go over this again, just to make sure, but that's it. You can just go now. Uh, I'm having a default to do. This is the fallback value in case of timeouts or in case of an error. And my default timeout time is 200 milliseconds. I'm fetching data, and in some cases, I'm simulating um, a delay. I will comment this out. Also, the code will be in the description. There is a link for it. And my timeout and or, or my timeout promise is this function, which awaits for the default timeout, and uh, after that, it will just reject. And when I call, when I pass these two promises in the promise to trace, one of them is gonna settle, which means reject or uh, resolve before the other and in that case we short circuit we either go to the then or catch based on the if these two promises one of them got rejected or resolved and we always retain either the data we coming from this axios call or ajax call or in case of any failure or timeouts we just retain the default to do and this will give us what we want and i think this is really nice uh, maybe i have to mention a package called um Right, I'll show it's called PM It's called a possum, I think. Okay, I wrote it wrong. Uh, 
it's a really cool package i think you should check it out i'll also add it in the description uh, but and they provide, provide some really nice features and uh, but they don't work with multiple promises out of the box to short circuit it's only with one promise but in this way you can handle simple cases and also you can extend it to handle like much more complicated ones if you have it um yeah that's it bye